trying to mediate the beef, you get found with him. All these chains, rest in peace to Harry Tubman. <laughs> Yo, uh, uh, how? What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today we're doing another crow hunt, but today is a little bit different because in the last crow hunt I asked y'all, I'm like, yo, you guys gotta help me. How can I do some better crow hunting because that was my first time. Once you do something the first time, you learn quick and all, but with your guys' help down in the comments, you guys gave me a ton, and I mean a ton of tips, and a lot of good ones. like. A lot of you described how well you have to be hidden because crow's vision is so keen and so good. So I made some adjustments in that area. And then a lot of you were like, hey, the sound that you're using on your e collar there, it's actually an owl and crow fighting. So I'm like, really? And that's an owl and a crow fighting. So a lot of you were like, yo, Bobby, you need to go get yourself an owl decoy because it's going to be lights off lights on, lights out, however you describe it. Basically with an owl decoy and the sound that I have, the e-collar sound, the crow sound, basically y'all are like, man, that would be a crazy, crazy mixture. You would kill them like nothing. So what I do, went back to Dunham's and got me an owl decoy. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's on a round base or something. I think you just kind of smash it down into the ground. I hope I can somewhat smash it down into the ground because it is froze. I mean, our ground is like froze, froze. So, I think it's going to look pretty goofy out there in the decoys with the with the six crow decoys that I have. But I'm excited to see if the, if the reaction of these birds are actually that much different because of this guy. I mean, it makes perfect sense. You guys are like, yo, crows hate owls. They fight all the time. And if it's true, which I did some research on it, and you guys are true, you guys aren't fibbing, this should be fun. So, I got me a little field where I found some crows, literally right by my house. And uh, there's a big, big group of trees, which I think they're roosting in. It. And they're getting off of it, and they're only flying about a mile and feeding. Uh, I want you all in the comments right now, Is that a, does that sound about right? Do they only fly a mile or two away from their roost to feed during the day? A lot of you say that they'll, they'll fly out in the morning, feed all day, then return in the evening. But is it only a mile or two or are we talking like a five or eight mile flight? Drop a comment down below and let me know because I want to know how far they usually fly on a normal basis to eat. But enough talking. I, uh, I'm going to get in the field with my new decoy here. Uh, I got the quad. I got my laydown blind. Not sure if I'm going to use my laydown blind or not. Probably need to uh, because a lot of you said get them decoys closer to you. Sit right by the decoys, but you have to be hidden. And so that's what we're going to try to do today. I'm going to try to sit a little closer to them decoys so I can have a lot more shots. Oh man, just like the last crow hunt, so windy still. Now we got a uh, south wind at like 18 mile an hour. So, I'm sorry if any of this audio is just shh, but we're making it happen. Like I said, we got the old quad loaded down, but look, check that out. Got all my decoys inside my layout blind, got the layout blind on the quad. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? We're gonna go get in the field. Let's go! set up here let me show you what all we got going on so like I said a lot of your guys' comments and the tips that you guys left down below in the comment section helped me out a lot a lot of you said I needed more decoys so I am gonna buy some more crow decoys but I set the spread a little bigger I got two against one now these two guys are gonna be arguing with the old owl decoy turn them a little bit so they're face to face oh yeah so the owl decoy it's a thing. It was like the most requested thing for me to get for uh, crow hunting. But the second was, Bobby, make sure you're hidden. So this is what we got going on. I got the laydown blind and it's really, I mean, it's gone. Once I close them doors, you ain't going to see me at all. So as long as the birds come, as long as the birds are here, we got the perfect little setup. Look at this. We're only, we are only roughly 10 yards from the decoys. Boom, boom, boom. So if this ain't the setup, I don't know what is. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to get comfortable, load my gun, 
turn on the old e-collar and cross my fingers and hope for some luck. But before we get that far, if you guys are liking these crow hunting videos, I'm liking them. They're a lot more easier for me. I can do them solo a lot easier. I don't have to sit 20, 40 dozen decoys by myself. So if you guys like them, you need to give me a big ol' thumbs up right now. It's for you boy, it's for you boy. You're letting me know. If you like it and you want more, hit that thumbs up button, please. Well, we're sat down here, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and kick on the old e-collar here. And um, last time, uh, since it was my first hunt last time, I was like, you know, I'm really excited to see how fast it works. I can tell you, when you turn that e-collar on, you better be ready, don't turn it on and still have to get situated, get your guns loaded. Make sure your gun's loaded, make sure you're sat down, make sure you're hid very well before you turn that e-collar on. Because last time, it was literally two minutes and I had the first two scout birds over the decoys. Now I've had a lot of you guys say, hey, don't shoot those scout birds because then the rest of the pack ain't gonna come. And then I've heard, hey, shoot the scout birds because then the rest of the pack will come. So I've, you guys have told me both scenarios and they both make sense why they, why they may or may not work. But if they're over the decoys, boys, you know me, I gotta shoot them. So here we go. And I learned, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it loud right when I turn it on like this. I'm gonna turn it way up. And then if I start seeing them and they get closer, I'm gonna turn it down as they come closer. So it's more realistic. Here we go. Well. Huh, what time is it here? I have been sitting here for, hmm, man, it's been 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I've cycled the collar on and off. I've had it on for five minutes. I'll turn it off for probably seven or eight minutes, have it on for five minutes. Same routine over and over and I have not seen a crow overhead. Nothing's came to look at us. I mean nothing. As much as it hurts me to say, man, I was really hoping this, this spot was gonna be money. I always hear crows back here. Um, I see crows roosting back here. They might be out to feed right now. Um, that might be the problem. Might be a better hunt towards the evening once they're coming back to the roost. Um, but I think I'm gonna move down the field probably 300, 400 yards. Let's go to the opposite end of the field. Basically set up the same setup that we have right now and cross our fingers and hope that there's some birds uh, still up in the trees around that part because, man, I just knew that this was gonna be gold. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, just moved again. Uh, I say it's not a lot of work, but it really is with this darn blind. You gotta round everything up, get it on the quad, ride over, sit it all back up, get sat down. It took me about another 20 minutes to do all that. So, we're sat down at the new place, and um, I'm just still crossing my fingers. I'm hoping we can scratch something out today. It's midday. I tried to do a midday hunt here. Give, you know, I was gonna give myself about two or three hours worth of hunting here. We're probably about an hour and a half deep. Uh, so we only got about an hour left, but this is probably gonna be our last sit of the day. Hopefully we have some luck here. I'm telling you what. Oh, well, back here at the house and let me tell you what. Boys, boys, I don't understand what happened. Well, I guess I kind of do understand what happened. This morning, I got out of the house late. Had some family duties to take care of. And I was like, man, it's too late uh, to go try to hunt ducks because it was probably, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock by that point. And on the way out to uh, find some crows, I found a few sitting in the field. I'm like, heck, they're out, they're about, they're on the fields. I think this is where they're roosting. So I'm gonna sit right here and that's where we sat. The reason I sat right there was because a lot of you said, hey, Bobby, don't just concentrate where they're feeding, but concentrate more on where they're roosting. And that's what I did. I was like, man, this group of trees, it's such a large, large wooded area. And I see a ton of crows in there. I hear a ton of crows in there in the late evenings, you know, when they're headed back to roost from feed. Well, I wasn't there at the right time today. I can guarantee you I'm going to go back to that field either tomorrow or the next day. And I tell you what, I'm going to have them figured out. Long story short, what I learned today was midday is not the best time because that's when they're going to be out to feed. I think they trickle off their roosts rather slow. It's not like geese and ducks where they all get up at once type of deal. Um, I, I always see trickling going on with uh, crows getting off their roosts heading to the fields to feed. So I just believe I was set up too close to the roost at the wrong time of day. 
I think I could sit up uh, close to that roost, you know, early, early morning. First thing, first sun up, I believe that that spot today would be golden. And that's probably the first way I'm going to try that field. And then the second way I'm going to try that field is late, late, late in the afternoon, almost evening, when they should all be returning back to that roost from feed. And if that don't work, I'm going to have to resort to just scouting, finding their feeds, and hunting them like I did on the first video. Because that with the first crow hunt that y'all seen, y'all loved it. But that's what it was. I scouted the feed instead of scouting the roost, and it actually worked. So we're going to try a couple different theories here and come up with something good. But y'all, uh, this, this bad boy right here, yeah. The old owl decoy. I don't know how many of y'all commented down below and thank each and every one of you for doing so because a lot of y'all don't comment, but the ones that do, thank you so, so much. This guy here, we didn't have any luck with it today, so I can't say how it worked, but from all the comments and then even from a lot of my buddies that have crow hunted in the past, all of y'all are just like, man, get an owl decoy and them crows go crazy. But we didn't even see one crow today over the decoy, so we didn't get to try out my buddy here. But this is not the end of the owl decoy challenge, if you want to say. Because we are going to use it, because I believe that this thing is a game changer. So, be expecting the owl decoy to come out yet again and again and again. We're going to put it to the test. I can guarantee you we're going to end up slaying some crows over this bad boy. But, again, I want to thank you all for all y'all's comments down below. I have to say, without you guys commenting all the time, I wouldn't be able to come up with ideas like this guy right here. I mean, just a game changer of an idea, I can guarantee it. Thank you guys for always leaving your comments down below. And honestly, you all don't have to leave those comments down below. A lot of your tips have helped me so much. So the people that have, I really do want you to understand. I appreciate it so much, you guys helping me learn how to crow hunt. Because I feel like, you know, I've got a lot of DMs, a lot of, a lot of messages from you guys thanking me. Hey Bobby, thank you for helping me learn how to blow my duck call better or how to set a duck decoy spread or a goose spread. So it's like, it's kind of your guys' way to like help me out in return for all the favors I've done y'all. So I appreciate it so much. I really do. But guys, like I said, be expecting more of the owl decoy uh, crow hunts and be expecting some solo duck hunt action. It's the last week of ducks here and I can guarantee it I'm getting after them. I got a hunt tomorrow that should be epic. So don't miss them guys, stay tuned. If you haven't hit that little notification bell down there, you need to. It'll notify you when I upload, because we have some saucy videos coming your way. But thank you all for being here yet again. Subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, give me a big O thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one, guys.